Hello everyone, welcome to Akash College Review Series. Today we are going to review National Institute of Technology Durgapur, aka NIT Durgapur. In today's video, we'll discuss everything about this NIT, its campus, courses, fee structure, admission process, scholarships, eligibility and cutoff. And yes, if you want detailed information on placements at NIT Durgapur 2022-23, then do watch this video till the end. NIT Durgapur was established in the year 1960 in West Bengal. The campus of NIT Durgapur is spread over 187 acres comprising of academic buildings, labs, hostels, faculty quarters, various kinds of sports facilities. Then there is this library with more than 1,70,000 volumes of print resources. There are student activity centers and medical unit. NIT Durgapur offers various courses for undergraduate, postgraduate and doctorate level programs. Bachelor of Technology is the flagship program here which includes courses such as chemical engineering, Civil Engineering, Computer Science, Electrical Engineering, Biotechnology, Electronics and Communication, Metallurgical and Material Engineering, and Mechanical Engineering. Talking about the fee structure, Tuition fee per semester at NIT Durgapur is around 62,500. Therefore, for the entire BTEC program, the fee that includes tuition fee as well as the admission charges will amount to be between 5 to 6.3 lakhs. At the very same time, NIT Durgapur provides certain fee waivers to the students. 100% tuition fee waiver for STSC or physically handicapped students. Full remission of the tuition fee for the candidates whose family income is less than 1 lakh rupees. Whereas two-thirds of the tuition fee remission for the students whose family income is between 1 lakh to 5 lakh. In addition, the institute has various scholarships and fellowships which are offered to the students who show excellent academic record. Now, these scholarships are offered by various authorities, are sponsored by various authorities, authorities such as state government, central government, Ministry of Higher Education, MHRD and others. For more information on NIT Durgapur scholarships, do visit the National Scholarship Portal. The link is provided in the description. Coming on to eligibility and admission process. See, the eligibility requirement at all the NITs are same. The candidates seeking admission for BTEC program need to qualify joint entrance exam, that is JEE main, and pass class 12th board examination with science stream. 75% for general category students is the required percentage and 65% requirement is for STSC or physically handicapped students. Further, the students need to register for JOSA counselling with the JEE's main score and once you get selected, you are required to verify your documents and pay the required fees. And for foreign students, you get selected through DASA, Direct Admission of Students Abroad and ICCR schemes. Talking about the seats at NIT Durgapur, as you all know that 50% of the seats are reserved for home state candidates and the remaining 50% seats are reserved for all India and other state candidates. Here is the branch-wise cut-off 2023 list after 6th round of JOSA counselling. If you are interested in computer science branch of NIT Durgapur, then see, the rank cut-off opened at 3070 and closed at 12851, whereas for other state candidates, the opening rank was 6,848 and closing rank was 10,070. For all those who are interested in chemical engineering, home state candidates must aim to secure a rank between 27,000 to 28,000. Keeping the opening and closing rank in mind, other state candidates must aim at securing an approximate rank as 30,000 at least. 
For electrical engineering, all the home state candidates and other state candidates are required to secure 18 to 19,000 rank in their JE main, as there is not much difference in the home state and other state cutoff. Talking about metallurgical and materials engineering branch, both home state and other state candidates must aim to get a rank nearly 43,000, considering the fact that opening and closing ranks of both are similar. Here is the rank cutoff for all other branches of NIT Durgapur. You can pause the video or take a screenshot to know the rank requirements of various streams. For more information for different categories, do visit the link given below. Now, let me show you NIT Durgapur placements 2022-23. During the placement drive of 2022-23, a total 187 companies visited the campus. The placement percentage in the same year recorded was 84.66%, where 90.32% students from metallurgical and material branch were placed, 89.66% of electronics and engineering, 88.37% from electronics and communication. Students placed from Computer Science and Engineering branch were 85.71%. From Mechanical Engineering branch were 84.05%. Talking about Chemical Engineering branch, 83.33%. Whereas Civil Engineering, 81.97% and 67.86% in Biotechnology were placed. Now, this is something very unusual as the maximum number of students placed were from the metallurgical and materials and electronics and engineering branches. However, if we look at the branch-wise average CTC graph, we will find that candidates from computer science branch received the maximum average CTC which was 21.45 lakh per annum. Hence, the overall average CTC offered at NIT Durgapur was 13.62 LPA and highest CTC offered was 70 lakh per annum. Now, here is the list of NIT Durgapur's top on-campus recruiters. Over the period of time, NIT Durgapur has acquired a respectable position among various national engineering colleges. With its quality education, infrastructure and decent placements, NIT Durgapur is a good value for money. So, this was all from me today. For more such informative content, stay connected.